What's up, family? This is Pastor B with Tuesday's Touch. I read a leadership book recently, and the author talked a lot about self-confidence and how important it is for leaders to have self-confidence. And I think that that's true, not only for leaders, but for all of us. I think that all of us need to have a degree of self-confidence and an appreciation for who we are as people. We live in a world that undermines our self-confidence, that tells us you have to look a certain way or act a certain way or speak a certain way if you want to be successful. And we see the tragic results of this undermining of self-confidence in the lives of many of our young people who have been attacked and been hurt and even lost their lives because of bullying. Because people don't receive them or accept them the way they are and say harsh things to them and they're not mature enough to be confident in who they are, some of them have even taken their own lives tragically. So self-confidence is important. The problem with self-confidence, however, is this whole notion of self. Because see, if you base your confidence in yourself, then when yourself has a good day, you'll feel great. And when yourself has a bad day, you'll feel horrible. When yourself, you're able to climb a mountain or solve a problem in your community or on your job and in your family, you'll feel great. But when yourself, when you as a person, when you fail and you're beat down by life, then you have a vulnerability to feel like you are not valued and not worth much. Because who you are is based on the performance of you on yourself. Jesus has another option. He says in John chapter 15, verse five, I am the vine and you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Jesus says, don't base your confidence in yourself. Base it in me. He says, base your confidence, not in your ability to perform, but base it in the awareness that I am, that God is responsible for performing and bearing fruit in your life. All we need to do is make sure that we work hard to abide in God. The fruit is left up to him. And when we do that, when we make sure that our focus every day is not simply being a, a super individual, not simply being that I'm going to defeat the day, not simply being being that I'm going to be perfect in all things. But when we wake up in the morning, just simply affirming that God has a rock solid plan for our life, that God loves us. And that if we stay in God's grace and in God's word and in God's way, God is going to bring good fruit in our lives. Then on those days when we don't do the best, on those days when we don't feel the best, on those days when we just flop, we'll discover that our success was never based on us having a good day or a bad day at all. Our success is based on God's ability to bear fruit in our lives. And that's something that God can do. I'm a witness to that. Now, does that mean we don't get up in the morning trying to be the best that we could be? Of course not. I wake up in the morning intent on being the best pastor, the best husband, the best father, the best son that I can be. But I also know that me being the best pastor and son and father and husband is not connected to my own wisdom. It's not connected to my ability to thrive. It's connected to my ability to abide in Jesus. Because if I abide in him, seeking his face, obeying his word, trusting his grace, he will bear the fruit in my life. This is Pastor B with Tuesday's Touch. God bless you and God keep you. You have been touched.